It is in Adalia, the storm hitting Florida as a Category 3 hurricane today, knocking down homes and power lines. It's been this way, and it's weakened to a tropical storm now. Ariel Placencia is live for us in Tampa, Florida tonight. She has been covering this all day long. Uh, Ariel, take, a, take us, walk us through the damage and what people are dealing with in this aftermath. Well, look, those floodwaters brought a, that storm surge brought a lot of flood water to our roads and to our neighborhoods. We talked to first responders who admitted it was tough to access some neighborhoods because of all that rising water. Those floodwaters also blocking and making some of our local bridges completely impassable. But as of this hour, all of our major local bridges are open, but that just means people are finally able to get home. And for the first time tonight, they are seeing the damage that unfortunately their property, their car, their belongings have suffered. Now, I do want to show you some of this video, so take a look here. This is in Pinellas County, which is west of where I am. At the southern tip is Gulfport, and they got their share of water. The famed Gulfport Casino still stands on Shore Boulevard, but water filled the streets, and so did the people. A handful of businesses on Beach Boulevard saw several inches of water, and at one point this evening, Duke Energy was reporting 27,000 Pinellas County customers were without power. Now, here in Hillsborough County, which is where Tampa is, where I am, we saw people swimming, paddleboarding, biking in those floodwaters. This is Bayshore Boulevard, not far from where I am right now in Tampa, that video you're looking at. Emergency officials really asking, though, that our locals don't do that, though, that they don't go out into the floodwaters because you can't be sure what's swimming or slithering in that water. There were reports of snakes in some of our local flooded roadways. Again, cleanup just starting today, though, and will likely continue throughout the rest of the week. Um, unfortunately, we are still seeing people without power outages as crews frantically work to get those lights turned back on. We are getting a lot of help, thankfully. Linemen coming from all over the country to help us down here in Florida. But a little bit of good news. Our airport officially and fully reopens in just a few hours at 3 a.m. And we do know that a handful of school districts will be returning to classroom tomorrow. So thankfully, a little bit of normalcy coming in just a few hours.